about this, the real problem in New York City was how can we get enough horses? It's not a joke. It was a real problem. And there was dead horses laying in the streets of New York at that time. And the other problem, of course, how can we get rid of the horse manure? <laughs> you know. And so now we laugh at that problem. But I say 50 years from now, people look at us and say, how could these people be so stupid not using nuclear power? How could they possibly be? So, so it's a question I asked then, are we afraid of chance or change? And this is an American character who is not afraid. We want we worry. And here is a picture of the earth in some millions of years. Yeah, the earth is changing. Things are changing, for heaven's sake. We can't keep still the same. This is the American foreign policy. They try to keep things the same because we have it well in America. So their policy is to keep things unchanged. But even the foreign policy of the United States can't manage to do that. And we certainly can't manage to keep the earth just indifferent. So we have, I think we have to learn to live with change. That's one thing. And... Uh, Here's a picture of myself, my wife and me. We got married roughly 60 years ago. This is how we looked. This is how we look today. Do you see? <laughs> We've changed. And notice, <laughs> unfortunately we have changed. And notice also that the new picture is a colored picture. There was no color when I got married. So I t as far as I'm concerned, the, we have left the world in a better shape than we arrived, and this will continue. And so here is some Antarctic ice core, which I have been showed. We see roughly every 100,000 years, we get an ice age. That will happen now. You see that it happened in ice age. People lived. This is uh, 800,000, 400,000 years ago. The li people lived on the Earth through these changes. And, but they come, and they look like we are ready for another ice age. Not for, and then people say, well, please, burn some coal. <laughs> you know, keep warming up the earth. And the other interesting thing about this is that the blue line is the temperature, and the temperature increases before the carbon dioxide. And there are a lot of peddling and writing and things to try to get that changed around. But the facts are that these are the experiments. So finally, then, we get to the end. And uh, this is from The Economist, Don't Despair, Grounds for Hope on Global Warming. And if I, if I ask the rhetorical question, is climate science a pseudoscience? And if I'm going to answer the question, the answer is absolutely. So thank you very much.